Rollins has returned. A man who changed the entire wrestling world and is now ready to prove himself again in the WWE. Introducing first, from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, the WWE Champion, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes! Hey guys, do you realize that we're mere moments away from waging war? Guys, a tough spot to be in starting war games, but soon we'll have the numbers on his side. You're right, Cole. It's up to him to utilize the advantage, direct his team, and be ruthless. Yeah, but it's really critical. He needs to stay alert and stay active. And if he gets injured or knocked out, the numbers advantage is meaningless. Representing the NWO from Detroit, Michigan, weighing in at 195 pounds, one half of the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, Eric Bischoff. You want to be a big name? You want to be a top talent? This situation is how you prove it. He needs to lead his team through this match, even though the numbers will be constantly against them. Well, he looks determined. You have to expect he's going to go full force when the bell rings. He's got to incapacitate his opponent to try to negate the advantage. Listen, every move, every strategy must be meticulously planned in this harsh structure. And we also know all it takes is one simple mistake, and that can be your undoing in war games. And the question with War Games is always how far will these superstars push each other? The answer is always as far as it takes. If you're in a War Games match, that means you have asked for and received a license to do anything you want to your opponent. I fully expect these competitors to take advantage of that. Ow! Foot, meet, back. Nice. Golly, utilizing his power and tossing him across the rings. Needed a midsection. Bang to the neck. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. He manages to escape. That's a forearm that'll floor you. Cody looking to attack from above. Uh oh. Way too far. Oh, Diving Muso. Countdown underway. The odds about to no longer be even. He's headed up. Might be going toward the top of this war game structure. Cage opens, and the strategy now has to be to take charge. Play the numbers game to your advantage now. Battling on the top. As if the numbers advantage wasn't enough. Looking under the ring for a weapon now. Hauled himself up on top of the wall. War Games might be about to get even more dangerous. And he situated himself on top of the cage. Who knows where this is going? Like two fighter jets, dog fighting above the battlefield. And one crash landing could end it all. Ooh. In a War Games match, when there's no escape, I have to think that cardio becomes a factor. Oh, yeah. War Games pushes your stamina to its absolute limit. There's no room inside that cage to pull up a chair and catch your breath. You've got to go all out from the moment you step foot in there. No.
Connects on the kick. Oh, look at this. What a headbutt. Cody sparing some time for the adoring fans. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. Oh, the Mere seconds away from evening the odds in war games. Rapid fire, Samoan drop. Got to minimize the damage now. Go help your teammates immediately. And over to the other ring he goes. Looking for something under the apron before entering. High knee right between the shoulders. Snapmare takedown. Good to at least see this fight even up for the moment. Deliver with force. Oh, to the arm. Terrible. Uh-oh. Six gets reversed. Shot 
cage has been open, and we're about to see a bit of a handicap match here, gentlemen. Look at the amount of members on each team now. This truly has the potential to become one side. the same people they went in as, but they will leave victorious. And depending on whom you ask, that is all that matters.